Hello there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about the next piece of Nintendo hardware as I will be referring to it in this video, the Nintendo Switch 2. There's been a lot of talk about what this next console's gimmick might be and it seems, at least from my comments and, and looking at Twitter and all that, it seems like most people kind of just want Nintendo to stay the course, make another Switch, make it more powerful, get more fidelity out of these games, but keep the same form factor, keep the Joy-Con, or at least upgrade the Joy-Con, and basically just keep the, the general concept of the Switch with a more powerful console. It seems that's what most people want to see, at least in our online bubble. But here's the thing, Nintendo really doesn't do that. There are a couple of examples of Nintendo kind of just staying the course, you know, NES to SNES, or even if you want to count like Game Boy to Game Boy Color, they pretty much, or even Game Boy to Game Boy Advance, for the most part, they usually have a brand new exciting gimmick, even with N64, you know, you could say the, the, the joystick or GameCube, they had the mini discs, Wii, of course, is the most notorious example with motion controls, and then the Wii U had the gamepad, and now the Switch with the hybrid nature of the console, even 3DS and DS, I mean, those are unique ideas. Nintendo, generally speaking, at least in the modern era, has always had some sort of gimmick. So while I would not be upset if the Switch 2 was just a more powerful Switch, I, I'm not going to complain, really. I don't really see that happening. So today, I want to talk about what that next gimmick could be, because I do think there will be some sort of fresh idea in this console. Of course, let me know down in the comments below, what do you want to see from the Switch 2? If you want it to be more just like the regular Switch, or if you want it to be a, a new gimmick that evolves Nintendo's hierarchy of consoles. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I'd love to get a discussion going. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into my idea. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, I've definitely said this. This is nothing I've, you know, hidden for a while. I've been saying this for probably years at this point, honestly. I think the next Switch will be a clamshell design. Now you might be thinking, okay, well, wait a second. That's an old idea. Yes. So maybe it doesn't necessarily line up with my belief of, oh, it has to be a new idea, but I do think dual screen makes a lot of sense. We'll get into why in a second, but let me run down how I'm imagining this. And I'm not a hardware designer. Some of these, my ideas might be a little too far-fetched, but this is what I'm thinking, right? Because Nintendo loves innovation. I think they might try to do this. So first things first, you're going to get a dual screen experience again. Developers can use this or not. They don't have to. It's not going to be forced. Nintendo will use it in cool ways. Bada bing, bada boom. Y'all know what dual screen is. We've seen it on the DS. We've seen it on the Wii. We've seen it on the 3DS. It's not inherently a new idea, but it is something we have not seen for a while. So I think they might do that. But the main reason that I think we might see this, and this is kind of hit or miss because Nintendo might be scarred, <laughs> frankly. And once again, I'm not a hardware designer, but how cool would it be if if you could, and, and this is something I'm not positive on, I do think it'll be dual screen, whether or not this part of my, my theory ends up being true, we'll see. But how cool would it be if the Switch was a folding screen clamshell design with two screens, right? Not, not like a Samsung Z Flip, I mean like just a 3DS with two screens, basically. But what if it was like that, but you could detach the top screen? So now we detach the Joy-Con on the rail, what if you could detach the two screens? You probably see where I'm going with this. You can then dock the top screen, or the bottom screen actually, it doesn't really matter which. I guess the top screen would make more sense from a form factor perspective. But either way, you, you dock one of the screens, and then the other screen can then mirror gameplay, display different information, what if they remake the Wii U? <laughs> now, that's that's the biggest issue with this. They probably won't pursue that because they already did the Wii U, but the Wii U was just underbaked. I don't think the Wii U was a bad idea. It just the marketing wasn't good. The hardware itself was not good, not because the idea of having a second screen was bad, but the hardware itself was just genuinely not good. Even though I love the Wii U, it just wasn't, it wasn't all there. It was too early. But I really like this idea of, of going back to that well and seeing what people will do with it on a successful console. And I want to clarify, this is all completely optional. You don't have to do any of this stuff. Granted, I'm not factoring in a lot of stuff here. You know, this this would be expensive to do hardware-wise. I mean, how do you really get this to work? I'm not factoring in that stuff. I'm just kind of daydreaming here, right? This is a daydreaming video. So a dual screen device with a touch screen on the bottom, right? And then you can dock one of the screens and kind of have that Wii U style gameplay back. My reasoning for specifically thinking of a dual screen device is back catalog. Now, Nintendo may not care too much about this, but as a game preservationist, I, I really do appreciate this kind of stuff. As someone who likes being able to play older games on modern consoles and own them, 
for Switch Online, we pretty much have up through the Game Boy Advance. And for home consoles, we have up through N64. I don't really see them doing GameCube ever. We've seen that they're pretty committed to doing ports with Pikmin and Metroid and possible rumors of F-Zero and Thousand Year Door. So I, I really don't think GameCube will pretty much ever happen for Switch Online as much as I would like that. I, I just don't really see it happening. I don't, I don't feel like there's a need for it, honestly, unless they get a lot of third-party stuff. But for handhelds, there's still a lot of potential there, specifically for DS. Even 3DS, they're actually remaking a lot of those games as well and porting them over. But for DS... DS, I feel like, makes a lot of sense. You're not going to go back and remake DK Jungle Climber or, or you know, all these random DS games. Bro, there's so many random DS games that really aren't, frankly, deserving of remakes. Metroid Prime Hunters, Metroid Prime Pinball. There's a, a ton of untapped potential there to bring these games forward, but they can't do that right now because of what the Switch is. Is this enough of a reason to design your console around dual screen? No. <laughs> Frankly, it's not, and I'm, I'm completely dreaming right now. But if they want to keep pushing Switch Online, if they want to keep getting people to subscribe and pay and expanding that, that retro library, DS is really all they have left. Yeah, there's a handful of games for each console that they still need to do. Game Boy Advance still has a lot of potential. But in terms of first-party Nintendo games being added to Switch Online, the DS is clearly the, the last big omission from the Switch. You know, even outside of just Switch Online, just in terms of getting those old games forward, GameCube and Wii have had a lot of ports, 3DS has had a lot of ports, DS really is the biggest black hole in the Switch's library, and, and the Switch, I'm gonna make a video on this soon, I think, has such a robust library from every generation of Nintendo. I mean, you can play most generations of Nintendo on this thing, except for DS. But even outside of just retro games, I mean, and it feels weird calling it DS retro, I do think there's plenty of untapped potential for a dual screen device in 2023 or 2025, whenever this thing comes out, 2024, maybe not from third parties. And that's why, however Nintendo markets this thing, assuming this happens, and it's not going to happen, probably, but if it happens, they need to market it right and make sure developers know that they, they don't have to use this. You can dock the entire thing still like you would a regular Switch. You know, you can undock it halfway and have the gamepad type device, or just dock the entire thing, play with a pro controller, and call it good. The dual screen stuff would be basically entirely optional. Um, that way, Nintendo can do their quirky BS that Nintendo likes doing, and third parties can have the choice of doing that. Indie games, I mean, think about indie developers on this thing. Some of my favorite Wii U games are indie games. Affordable Space Adventures being a primary example of a game that really used the gamepad well. I just think there's still a lot of opportunity for, for two-screen gaming in this, this landscape, and while PlayStation and Xbox and, and you know Steam Deck and all these things are definitely kind of all going towards a more uniform experience, I... While I wouldn't be upset if Nintendo made it just a more powerful Switch and kind of followed along in those footsteps, I just don't think it's likely that Nintendo's going to have nothing new to show for this console, or at least some sort of unique gimmick that sets it apart from the competition. So let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think of my idea of a dual screen Switch, maybe an undockable screen so you can play it like the Wii U, have that gamepad out? This is how we can get some more Wii U ports, Nintendo Land, of course. Iconic Wii U game right there. I actually love that game, ironically. So... Let me know your thoughts. What gimmick do you think the Switch 2 should have if it's not just a more powerful version of the Switch? I would love to get a discussion going down below. Let me know what you think for the next Nintendo console. What do you think the gimmick might be if it's not just a, a basic Switch successor? Of course, subscribe here for more Nintendo topics each and every day. And until next time, folks, peace.